One of the biggest problems that a lot of people have with these power stations is that the AC outlet does not turn back on when power is restored. Now, EcoFlow has this feature in the labs, but does it work? I'm Ive. I love making videos about portable solar, but forget all that. Let's get right into it. So I have devised a plan to test this. You can see that this is at 7% getting 116 watts. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go out here. We're going to turn this panel over to simulate a non-solar getting situation. So I'm just going to flip this over. No more power. I'm going to take the remaining power out of here. I should do it through the AC. So let's do that. I actually don't think that AC power pulling it out matters. So I'm going to put another load on it as well. <laughs> I'm actually going with the, the just a great Energizer P320 and the Gulu taking in about what? What do we have here? 244 watts is coming out so the goal is to get this to completely die ac to turn off tv is going to turn off and then we'll continue to test to figure out this ac back on feature works let me show you the setting in the app what the heck did they make it a mainstream feature and it's not a lab feature anymore what am i missing here okay the app feature isn't here anymore the lab feature to keep the ac on isn't in the that's weird but let's go back to the test because this video will probably be seen by a lot of you for the trust factor because some of you won't know me i'm gonna do this in one take i don't care if you trust me or not but i just want to bring some validity to the test so panels up let's take it in and see what happens when the power comes in all right so we got 138 watts coming in now something with these power stations they don't really do anything at zero percent rarely i'm gonna set up my tripod here. We have 1% already. Now, interestingly enough, it went right into giving power to the Energizer, right? Look at that. So you can see power going out, but I wonder if the AC is going to turn back on. I'm actually going to unplug this because that's detracting from it getting full power. So this particular one shot clip is approaching, stop please, approaching about three minutes. But I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna let it keep going until it gets up to like 5% to see if the AC turns back on. And the reason why that's important is because a lot of times these power stations, as I, I think I said earlier, they, they don't, operate until you get up to a certain level so it'll be like five percent or something like that before you can even turn the ac on manually so i want to give it a chance to reach a certain power state so we could see if then at that power level it turns its ac back on because it has sufficient power which is what we would want right you know when the power station gets back up to you know five ten percent it has a sufficient amount of power turn back on and give us power back to our internet our whatever our security system that's what a lot of people want at cabins and at home so if you are not away, if you so that you so that if you are away from home you can be confident that once power is restored you can get your stuff back on and that's even in a ups situation if you lost electricity for a few hours when power comes back on let's say that device dies and power is restored and coming back into the device, you want the AC to turn back on. Now, here's an interesting twist, something that Setite's Tech Adventures kind of discovered via the homie Mike Briney. Um, I think that's how you say his name. <laughs> Shout out to Mike. Uh, Blue Eddie was saying that they could not because of law. They were saying that because of a law, they can't make a non-grounded power station auto turn on. Now, Setite, um, he's a bit more of a researcher than I am. He was saying that that law didn't, he couldn't find the law on the book, so they may be scared for no reason. But um, anyway, I've done enough talking. Let's watch this until it gets to 5% and come up with some conclusions here. Right now, this clip is about almost approaching eight minutes, <laughs> just to give you an idea of how much I had the time lapse and speed it up. What I'm tempted to do is to go outside and lift the panel up so it could get more power quicker, but I, I can't trust my kids. <laughs> not moving the camera <laughs> so patience is a virtue 
Holy moly. It came back on. <laughs> It's freaking great. And it came back on at 5% charge. Remember what I was telling you? That's fantastic. Solar Will, Will Prouse, that's what I call him, so my wife knows who I'm talking about. He actually was waiting for Delta EcoFlow to implement this feature on like the Delta Pro. It works on this one. I imagine it has to work on the other ones. You saw that the lab feature was missing. And I'm not going to over talk to you about it. It is I holla.